This episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can review cruise prices using easy-to-use cruise search. Hey cruisers, it's embarkation day. We are on the 710 freeway. It is 1030 in the morning and of course we're running a little bit later than we would like to be um, because I had to make an obligatory stop at Target because I forgot something at home. Anyway, we drove down last night. Oh man, I need to repair this road. They dro <laughs> we drove down last night and got a hotel. Actually, it was a really nice Hampton Inn. We were at Hilton Honors number, so we really enjoy staying at Hilton Properties. They had a great breakfast and everything went really awesome. And so we're up in Adam and we're really excited to be jumping on the Carnival Splendor for our seven night Mexican Riviera cruise. So this is kind of a unique one. We have two, two days in Cabo and one day in Puerto Vallarta. So we're really excited about the trip. It's gonna be really relaxing and nice. And we're excited to get back on the good old pink ship as everybody calls Carnival Splendor or the pink donut ship. So what's going on today is that the Grand Prix is in Long Beach. So we really had to make a big effort to get down here early because we expect lots of traffic. I heard that people can even park. Uh oh, I have to find out where to go here. Um, I heard that people can even park in the um, in the terminal, the cruise terminal parking lot. So we just want to get here, drop off our luggage and be here nice and early in case there's any kind of congestion. So as you can kind of see outside, it's a sunny day, but it's sort of a little tiny bit overcast, but it's really warm. It's already 80 degrees, which is unseasonably warm for April. So we're thrilled about that. And the wind is supposed to be dying down today was, uh, this week has been really windy. So we're excited about that. Now, if you look outside, you can see that there's a lot of merging and stuff going on right now. This area of the freeway on the 710, when you get down to the terminal is extremely confusing. You have to pay very close attention to all of the signs because it's really easy to make a wrong turn and end up going on the bridge to San Pedro or just end up in the wrong area. So I am going to sign off now and pay close attention so we don't end up at the wrong cruise terminal and we will see you when we get to the newly renovated terminal. Okay, so I got lost telling you guys how not to get lost. Um, hot tip, parking at the Port of Long Beach is now $20 per day. It used to be a little bit less, but I think because of the renovation, they are upping the charge. So we are doing the drop off right now. We're gonna drop off our luggage and then we're gonna go park. All right, you guys, we made it to the port. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. Just making sure the car is locked. Okay, car is locked. You can hear the cars from the Grand Prix from the other side of the bay. So let's go get a first look at Carnival Splendor, which by the way, looks so huge in the birth at Long Beach. So much bigger than the Miracle. Let's check it out. All right, you guys, it's just after 11.30 and we are already on the ship. Everything went 
so incredibly fast in the terminal again. That seems to be our thing lately. We think we're running early. We get to the terminal and then it's like, whoosh, we're whisked onto the ship. So I barely had time to find my boarding passes, go to the restroom really quick. We met our first subscriber today, Julie. It was super fun. So welcome to the pink ship. We're excited to go check things out. And right now what we're doing is we're just going to kind of take a deep breath because we haven't had a chance to do that all day today. And we're, um, my son is looking for the candy shop. So we're going to, it's obviously not open, but we're going to see where that is because that's something he really wants to do. And then we'll go see if our room is ready, but they did say that they're not ready until one thirty. but we'll pop by. So one thing I wanted to let you know is that on this ship, what they're doing is they are putting the stateroom keys above your door. So no more giving your key on embarkation in the terminal. You wait until you get on the ship and it's waiting for you outside of your room. So we're going to show you what that looks like when we make it up to our room, which I think is on deck 11. I kind of forgot. I don't know if it's deck 10 or 11, but I guess we're going to find out soon. It's just a few minutes before noon and all of the staff on the ship were kind of pushing us to come and eat because nothing else is open. So we finally gave in and decided to hit the buffet before it gets too crowded. And I am getting myself a salad. But this little guy wants ice cream. Secret tip, there is an upstairs to the buffet and there is a comfort barbecue station up here and it is not crowded on embarkation day. So let's go check out the food while well, it's not very crowded. So it's potato salad and coleslaw. I think I'll actually just look at some of the other things. Can I have a little bit of the mac and cheese? Yeah, just a little bit. That's perfect. And a little beans. Thank you. And then can I please have a pulled pork sandwich? Thank you. And then you have sauces over here. Okay. Oh, yummy. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay. Come on over. Let's see. I think we're going to do the brown sugar sauce. This looks like a Guy Fieri sauce. I'm going to put that right on here and we're going to make a little pulled pork sandwich for my son. This looks delicious. So hot tip on embarkation day. The barbecue comfort food station is not crowded and everything is hot and delicious. Even the plates are hot. Super cool. So my son ate the entire pulled pork sandwich, didn't you? Was it good? Yeah, it was delicious. So you guys, this is the place if you need a little peace and quiet on embarkation day. You just pop up one floor above the Lido deck. I believe that if you look on the little um, deck maps, it's called the rotisserie, not the barbecue station. So look for the rotisserie. Another little tip, if you stop by the front desk or the passenger services desk, you can get a little map of the ship right away when you board. And you can also get a fun time. So what we've been doing is enjoying our lunch and checking out what is going on today. So cool things about the day one fun times would be that they tell you a little bit about the dress code for the entire week. So I can see here that tonight is casual tomorrow. So day two is actually elegant day. And then the second elegant, um, elegant night, I should say on the cruise is uh, Thursday, which is a sea day. And that's the second elegant night. So days two and six are elegant nights on this ship. Our captain is Carmelo Marino. The chief engineer is Paolo Vaudo. The hotel director is Lars Jewell. And the cruise director is still Mark Anthony. So hopefully we'll get to meet the cruise director. That's one of the things we're hoping to do. We hear he's a ton of fun. And I've seen lots of pictures and YouTube videos. So we're going to check that out. So you guys, there's so much to do today. I don't even know where to start. Um, they have obviously the sail away party Tonight at 7.45, they have Clue, the murder mystery in the Spectacular Lounge. They have the Punchliner Comedy Club at 9 and 11. And they have a Welcome Aboard show at 9.45 a.m. They have Ladies Night. There's just a ton to do, but our plan has always been that we're going to try to go to the spa and do a little spa tour right about now. It's almost 12.30. And then we're going to go down and visit the dining room um, head waiter and see where our table is. We have late dining on this cruise, which is 8.15. We're really actually kind of relieved to have late dining and to be trying that so we can enjoy more of our days. Our son's kind of a night owl anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I think we're going to wrap up the last few bites of our lunch and head over to the spa and see if we can show you guys around. Not sure if we can because of privacy reasons. You know how that goes. It's, it's kind of a sensitive thing, but we're going to give it a try. Cool. 
hands to, to do together. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, so here at our beauty salon that you can compare the video mm -hmm. here, here also we have barbers. treatment room. So we're roaming around on deck five where just about everything is on this ship. Everybody calls it kind of the main thoroughfare. Right now on Embarkation Day, they're having a carnival. So they have like carnival games out there. They handed my son a cute little thing of popcorn and it's really fun and festive. We're actually sitting right now in the red carpet lounge, which is like a nightclub. There's nobody in here right now. So we thought we'd pop in and just see what it's like. Just on the other side of me is the arcade, which is huge, you guys, huge. It has so many games in it skee ball, zombie games. I can't I can't even tell you how many there are. We'll get a little bit of footage of it and give you a peek at it. But one thing that I just did and wanted to show you um, a little bit about is I got the hub app up on my phone. So the way that you do this when you get on board is first you download the Carnival Hub app on your phone. And then as soon as you get your room card, you look for the folio number on the bottom of your card and you launch the hub app and it automatically brings up the login screen. So it says, okay, enter your folio number and your date of birth. I accidentally entered my husband's folio number and my date of birth first because I was looking at the wrong card and that did not work. But once you are in, you can see um, the weather. You can find out what's happening on the ship right now, what's coming a little bit later. There is a ship map. It tells you what the dress code is for the day. It talks to you about the steakhouse, shore excursions, um, different packages, the Cheers Bubbles package, the Wi-Fi packages, everything you could possibly need is on the Hub app. So this is really cool and you definitely need to download it if you're going to be sailing with Carnival. 
it's very simple and easy to do. I also grabbed the program for the teen club. It's called Club 02 on the ship. And this is the activity schedule for ages 15 through 17. A big note about all of the kids and teen areas on the ship is that they really aren't even open on embarkation day. Um, we went up to our son's age group, the little kids all the way up to the 11 year olds. They're not even open. They're just doing an open house, but the kids don't stay there and play. So I think that's something that's really good to know. Um, the open house for the teen club is actually starting tonight at 8.30, and then they have a meet and greet at 9. So in the first evening for the teens, they have things that they can do, and they're doing like icebreakers and a welcome aboard party for the teens tonight, and after party chill at 11.30, and then they have a late night program with like munchies and things like that from 12.15 to 1 a.m. So a lot of times we forget to give you guys information about the teen club, so I thought it would be good to to show this to you. What we're going to do too is we're going to scan this in and make sure that you all get a copy of it when we scan in the fun times from this trip. So look for the fun times eventually in our series of vlogs and um, we'll get you some more information. But very, very beautiful ship. It is actually a lot bigger than I remember it being and we're, um, we're just enjoying having kind of all the business out of the way and being able to relax a little bit. Now I think we're going to probably go check out our stateroom again because we just dropped our bags off, ran to the dining room to check our table assignment, and we haven't really had a chance to spend any time up there. So we will go see what our room is all about and then get ready for muster. The spa tour was super cool, and now we're stopping by our room to see if our key is here so that we can get in and drop off our bags and then go down to the dining room to check our table assignment. So let's see if it's here. Yes, indeed they are. So this is the way that they do it. You're going to get this little pouch that is going to have your keys in it. It has everybody's names and it has your folio number. So let's literally rip open the pouch. It's sealed, probably for safety, but I'm not sure it's really that secure. And here are our cards. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and go inside. My hands are so full. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, beautiful. We are on the balcony of our spa cabin and you can hear the Toyota Grand Prix in Long Beach just ripping around behind us. It's the coolest thing ever and it really makes you want to go to the Grand Prix sometimes. So it's a little breezy, but could not be a more beautiful day here in Long Beach. Look at this weather, you guys. There's the Queen Mary, it's so pretty. And behind us, there are some guys up on the funnel working. I don't know if you can see them from here, but it's really neat. So we're taking a little, a little uh, break to get my son's swimsuit on here in the cabin. And then we're gonna head out to the open decks and see what's going on. We're finally settling into our cabin and I have good news for you guys. I finally know what some of the features are for the spa cabin. I walked over to the spa and I got a little sticker put on the back of my room card and what happens when you do that is that you go to the spa and you give them your card and then they give you a spa pass so you can go in and use the facilities all except there's like a luxury suite that you can't use it's like a paid suite but a couple of things I didn't know you can get two free fitness classes so something like Pilates or spinning or something like that you get two free you also get additional spa discounts and, oh dear, the cruise director coming on to talk about the mustard drill. Okay, I'll make it quick. You also get bathrobes in the room, slippers in the room, and you guys, they have these upgraded Elemis um, amenities in the room. So this one is a shower gel. And then we have a hand and body lotion with a crooked little, <laughs> look how cute that is. It's got a crooked little lid. And then we have a conditioner. And I'm assuming this one must be a shampoo. So we have the bathrobes, the slippers, you get additional spa discounts. So your first spa treatment is 20% off, your second is 30% off, and your third treatment is 40% off. So I gotta go to the mustard drill. We'll see you later. We'll talk more about the spa tomorrow, sorry. It's really peaceful and quiet, even though the Thunderball pool is like right there and the big water slide, but it's super chill up here. I wanna give you guys kind of a 360 of what I'm seeing right now, because it's just so gorgeous and tranquil. I'm taking in just a few moments of outdoor time, having a cocktail before the mustard drill. There is the Queen Mary and of course the city of Long Beach. I wish you could hear the Grand Prix. It's the Toyota Grand Prix this weekend and the race cars are still going. They're still going. And then over here, there's the dome. The renovated port is absolutely gorgeous, so efficient. There's literally no waiting anywhere. There's the port area. And then, kind of flipping around, you can see the balcony behind me. And then here we go, all the way back around. So 
this is a nice little end cabin. It kind of gives you the impression of having more space than you actually have uh, on the cabin itself because you can see the back of the ship behind you, right in front of us over here, which it's kind of hard to show you, but right down there is the bridge. Hopefully you can see it just a little bit. Sorry, it's kind of windy. And pretty far forward, we're right by the spa. It's pretty convenient. Um, there's also spa cabins, you guys, on deck 10. So we're on the second floor of the spa cabin decks. All right, headed off to the mustard drill. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. Well, you guys, Sail Away came and went so fast. We got to spend some time in our cabin. The spa cabin is great. It is no different really than a normal cabin. I'm thinking there may be some furnishings that are a little bit different. The art seems particularly fancy. And of course, the toiletries that I mentioned earlier are very, very nice and the perks are really cool. After touring the spa today, we're thrilled that we got the spa cabin. So basically what happens when you get a spa cabin is that you get a few extra perks and you get a full, you get full access to the thermal suite for the whole week of your cruise, the two adults in your cabin. Our son is not eligible to participate, but two adults would be eligible. So it basically pays for the little bit extra we paid for the room. Essentially you're paying the same thing that you'd pay for the thermal passes. So we are um, getting ready to go to dinner. Special thanks to our subscriber, Brooke, for the teddy bear and the fruit. You guys are so sweet. Brooke, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness we appreciate it so we got to meet our awesome room steward her name is Ari Sara and I have a little note for her and I'm gonna give her a little tip today because she was going above and beyond for us on that crazy turnaround day when they're busy with the luggage and got us ice and probably said hello to us three or four times to make sure we were okay make sure my son had his life jacket for the mustard drill just extremely attentive so we are incredibly impressed with her and we know that she's gonna take very good care of us so it's about 7.50, dinner's at eight. We are walking out the door to go meet our dining room stewards and we are going to try to time our dinner experience. I can't guarantee that we're gonna do anything after dinner because I'm pretty tired. You can always tell from the sound of my voice on a cruise. If I start to lose my voice, you know that it's not gonna be a very big night after dinner, but we'll see how it goes. There is a welcome aboard show and some other activities afterwards. There's even a murder mystery tonight. So if we can rally, we will. But for now, we just need to get some food. All right, we just got to our table. It's table number 410 in the Gold Pearl Lower Restaurant. It's 8 o'clock, right on the money, so let's see how this goes. Yay, food! Thank wow. you. That looks nice. Oh, Hamburgers oh. here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Dinner was great, and we caught a few minutes of the Welcome Aboard show. It was awesome, really fun, super mellow. Not a lot of people went. There was plenty of seating on all the levels of the theater. 
So I promised you guys I would tell you how long our dinner experience took. It took just about an hour and a half. So we showed up at eight and we left at 9.30. It seems like a long time, but it really wasn't. It was perfectly spaced. The appetizers came out quickly. The entrees came out quickly. Dessert came out quickly. They offered coffee. Everything was delicious. So we had a lot of tasty food tonight. Um, for appetizers, I had my favorite carnival appetizer, which always seems to be on night one of any cruise, which is the calamari. It has this crazy delicious garlic aioli for dipping that I love. Um, and a couple other appetizers as well. And for entrees, my husband had the mahi-mahi and I had the, um, the shrimp entree, which was like a fried shrimp with fried rice. It was delicious. So I think we did really, really well in the meal department. We're burning out though, it's about 10, 15. And as I expected, we did so much today that I'm kind of burned out, but we're really excited for tomorrow. And I wanna just give you a little idea of what to expect on this cruise. So we're going to Cabo San Lucas for two days. In our first day in Cabo, we are doing a carnival shore excursion, which is called the Aqua Trio Adventure. So hopefully the weather will be good and we won't have wind issues. So make sure you stay tuned for that vlog. We're gonna be doing power snorkeling, stand up paddle boarding and kayaking all in one day. And then our second day, Cabo, what we'd like to do is show you guys step by step how to get to Madano Beach on your own without a shore excursion, hopefully by way of water taxi, again, weather dependent. And on our third port day, we are going to go to Puerto Vallarta and we're going to try out the Hyatt Ziva. We made arrangements to get a day pass there and we'll tell you all about our experience, even the taxi ride over to the Hyatt Ziva and all that good stuff. So that's what we have to look forward to. We will also be giving you guys a food slideshow and an outfit of the day video and some get ready with me videos. So be sure that you're following us on our other channel as well, Cruise Gear, and follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We do different things on all three of those platforms and we'd love to have you there. So this ends night one. Good night. And until tomorrow, we'll see you on the high seas. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Here, here's, a, this is really good. You ready? <laughs> you ready for this? Why do seagulls fly over the sea? I don't know. That's okay. Because if they flew over the bay, they would be bagels. Ah!